Breakdown is created and produced by High Bar Productions. Consult your physician before you start exercising with the Flex Magazine Workout. Follow the exercises carefully. Exercise at your own pace. Start with very light weights. If you feel any strain, stop immediately and consult your physician. Anya's already into her first real set of behind-the-neck pull-downs. Akim and I, will do them to the front, and we'll explain the difference in just a minute. Come on, Anya, let's go. Akim, Anya, tongue twisters. Now, I know you guys are both from Germany. You guys train in the same gym when you're there? No, we never train together. OK, how much do you want? Uh, 180. As you can see, he's starting off with a relatively light weight, but he's one of the few bodybuilders who actually, pound for pound, is as strong as he looks. But again, you always got to start with a lighter weight just to make sure that everything is in working, Definitely. working order. Warmed up. Good. Very good warmed up. You know what? We never trained together in Germany. Well, now we've got a great opportunity great. today. Yeah. Now, what he's doing here is pull down to the front. And the difference is, is he's got to pull it down to the top of his chest, keep his back very erect. This is going to help you when you're on stage doing a back rear double bicep shot. I'll go with the same thing. Oh, you're not going heavy? No, are you kidding? I thought you wanted to learn I'm going to work my way up. I don't want to embarrass him. Okay. Come on, Sean. Ah. Come on, do it. It's about a hundred pound difference between me and Akam. Do you think it does make a, a big difference on stage, the height difference in the athletes? Uh, I don't uh, think so, because uh, there are many short guys uh, like Vila Brada, and uh, they play very high. And... So it's basically symmetry. Yeah. Yes. She gave you credit. Oh, did he call yeah. me short? No. Wait a minute. <laughs> that, ain't, that ain't credit. You know what? Let's do some chin-ups because I really like this exercise for the width of the back. Okay, great. Jump on in there. Okay, I can't do this exercise. Now, why don't you do chin-ups? I injured my biceps a few months ago, so I have to be very careful. But before you injured your bicep, you were doing chin-ups yes, actively. Yes, yes. But now I have to be very careful. I'll do another exercise here. One second. Let's, let's get this in there. Oh, you're going to change the bar? Yes. Great. Come on, I'll give you one more, one more, one more. Spot me. Okay. Let's go. Up. Good job. I'm going to do it on this other. OK. Group, okay? Take the other handles. Rick some other muscle parts. Here we go. Close Always grip. get the variation going on in your workout. Middle of the back here. Yeah. You can really pull it up to your chest if you take those handles. OK. Good job, John. Come on. You don't need a spot. Come on. Give me two more. Two more. Come on. One and one more. That's good. Good. Wow. Oh. OK. Yeah, okay, I told you. Okay. What do we got here? Close grip pull downs to the yes. front? Sticking with the weights. This is basically going to work what? The middle part of the back? Yeah, I think I can stretch my leg, my uh, legs very good with this exercise. Okay. And it trains the uh, back from different angle. Great, yeah. show me. Now, I've seen him working out in the gym before. And believe me, the pounders that he uses, he normally yeah. uses the stack, gets another pin, and adds a 45 pound yeah. plate on there. So this is a very good exercise for thickness. And for the width, for the weed taper, which we're working on right now. Well, I notice again, no matter how, how heavy he's going, the form is the most important thing. Yes. Great. Germans are well known for their very That's straight very form. That's very important right, that you don't lean back too much. Yeah. Okay. She says that the Germans are noted for using great form. That's right. And consistency. Consistency. Well, I know one thing. I've been to Germany several times, and you guys are definitely right up there with the Americans coming on very strong with yourself and Jane Kildebrandt and the like, competing in the Mr. Olympia. Great. Is this one of the exercises that you would always do, or do you use a variety and just kind of change uh, every time? Usually for a contest, I change my exercises. Yeah. What do you want? Uh, give me a 180. OK, so he goes heavier than you did. Let's well, well, that. Wait for the next set. OK. <laughs> All right. I'm going to Come on, Sean. 
Stay straight up and down, right? Yes. Big back. If you need a spot, you grab the handle here, but he's so psyched because Achim here really doesn't need one right now. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, I traded back with Achim in Hawaii. Oh, you did? Yeah, and I remember he had the whole stack and had a 45 pound plate on there and still had the same kind of form. So, so how much do you want now? Let's do one more time. Mm. That's 180. 200. 200. Yeah, let's get serious. It says Come 200 on. like it's nothing. Yeah. OK. Well, OK. I know right. that when I stand on stage next to Akka, because he's a taller bodybuilder with a lot more mass, if you can get lost, it seems like you're getting very intimidated. But like you said, height is really not, Yeah, oh, height really doesn't matter. Yes. But if you are taller, you definitely got to have mass. And to have mass, you got to be strong. Okay, let's go. So, a little heavier now, too. Now, Akam, you're living in San Diego now and training for the Mr. Olympia contest out there. Right? Yes. How is that uh, compared to training back home in the snow out in Germany? Uh, it's better for me to train here in America because it's easier for me to find a good training partner here mm -hmm. because more people do hardcore bodybuilding. Right. Okay. Yeah. That's good. She's going for it. Yes. She says she's never trained with you before. Is there a difference with a girl or not? Uh, I never trained with a girl together. together yeah. Because it's very hard mm -hmm. to find a girl uh, who can strong. motivate yeah. me. Who's hungry, Keep right? up with Yes. Them. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, come on. Drive it up. Good. That's We're going to be doing uh, about eight good. to ten repetitions per Great. set. I'm up next. Okay. 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 I'm in it, in it to this win it. This is probably the greatest exercise for chest and the one that's really basic. I think every guy when he starts bodybuilding wants to know how much he can bench press. This is a granddaddy for chest exercise. Give me a lift off. All right, up. let's go. Okay. All the way up, all the way down. A lot of intensity. Drive it up, drive it up. How long have you been training, Vince? Oh, not long enough. I'm spying on Sean right now. <laughs> yeah. That's more insight. Come on. Come on, that's it. Drive About it up, 10 son. years, boy. Okay. Oh, you, you're just a baby, man. I've been training a long time, 33 years. Let me get in here. But what I find is unusual about Vince, though, Vince, you got started a little bit later on in your career. I started at 17. How old were you when you got involved? I started at 27. Yeah. OK, so, you want to give me a spot? It's Let's never too late to get started right. in it. Because now Vince is already a multi-Grand Prix champion, Down and up. three times in the Mr. Olympia. I'm coming after him now. I remember I met you when I was 17. Absolutely. When I saw Sean, he just had me shaking in my boots. I just got started. <laughs> now I'm taking notes. Hit it, boy. All right, come on. Well, that's good for motivation, oh, though. You always have, a, have to have a reference point. Boy, it was an inspiration for me when I started. Okay. Vince, when I, when, he, when I met Vince at 17 years old, we already had the competitive nature 10 years apart, but still, we're both hungry. Well, you let's guys are going to be knocking heads later this year, so let's get on with this chest workout. i got to watch this guy. i got to learn okay. some tips. Let's do some dumbbell flies, huh? OK. This next exercise, dumbbell flies, incline. This works the upper chest and also the outer portion. Notice how Sean brings it back, gets a full stretch in the back position. I'm going to stand back here and spot him as well. Come okay, on, two, all the way. Three, four straps, right, ready? Come on. Uh, uh, good, drive it up. Yes, good, I got it. OK. Vince, do you normally train with a training partner or do you train by yourself? I'm a solo guy. I kind of oh, train really? by myself. So I'm kind of nervous with you fly. big yeah, monsters here today. Yeah, that works, though. I've seen Vince training. And uh, you keep up kind of a medium pace, medium weight, so it doesn't necessarily need a spotter because he, right. he uses the weight he can handle. See, myself, I got to have a training partner to motivate me. I, very difficult for me to train by myself. You notice know, looking up because arms yeah. are when he does this. You got to be oh. careful on this because you can't tear a bicep. That's right. That's why it's so important to warm up in particular, before you start doing an incline move. All right. Jump in there. Okay. Now, Vince, do you ever like do the rest pause theory where you come all the way down? No, rest. actually, Sean, because as you mentioned, you can tear your bicep. I had a bicep injury before. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of like privy to pain, so I take it nice and slow, not too wide on the stretch. That's good. Look at it. That's about the pace you want to keep. On, on occasion, I get carried away. I pick up the pace when I'm training with a girl a lot of times because they're a lot faster, you know? You always pick up the pace when you train with a girl. <laughs> well, no comment. Move it right along here. Squeeze it out, boy. Give me three more. I'm going to give you some force reps. Three, two, one. I want to hear the, the weights playing at the top. Two. There we go. Touch them. Oh, that's good, uh, baby. OK. Better rock and roll. All right. Let's do some pec pick flies, huh? All right. All right. Now, Vince, since you don't train with a partner, are your workouts a little faster or slower? Actually, a little slower. I, I use an imaginary partner. I do my set, he'll, I think my partner does his, and I kind of like flip-flop back and forth. So how, normally, how long do you normally rest between sets, Vince? I 
depending on the conversation I have with my imaginary training partner. <laughs> now we're down about 35, 40 seconds. We're finishing off this particular movement with <sighs> vertical Pumps. flies. This also works the chest from the outside in. Okay. Great. Okay. Who's up next? I'm okay. jump in here. I'm All right. I Some of the Sean rubble. Good. Okay. All right. No rest for the wicked. Here we go. We got some great news. Sean Ray told me he's not coming to the Honor Classic. <laughs> not coming to the Honor Classic. Well, there's certain contests throughout the year that you can't compete in, and we pick them selectively based on our appearance schedule. I think that's very wise that y'all do that. I know when I was competing, you know, we were so gung-ho, we went in every contest, and it's difficult to improve throughout the year if you compete so many different times. That's right. That's it, Vince. Good. Vince is getting All a right. greater stress right. now. Okay. A lot of times, this exercise, you have to be flexible. <clears throat> A lot of people think we're muscle bound. Well, this not only you know works the muscles, but it really increases the flexibility in your range of motion. Good squeeze. It's always important to touch it at the top. Bitch, you got this apparatus in the gym you train at? Yes, we do. It's slightly a different variation though. We're coming up from a uh, low floor angle up. Oh, okay, lower. So we're kind of not privy to this particular brand. You're Maybe from, you ought to get one. You're from Florida. How's that training out there? I'm training at Goals in Florida. It's a okay. really expensive place. Really nice. The weather's right. Place to be to grow. Okay, look at Boyer. Just keep it right there. Boyer's not arching his chest forward. He, that's actually his chest expanding as he brings the weights in tight. Good. Come on, one more. Give me one more. All right. Okay. All right. Let's go right here. Some okay. more bench press. All right. I'll spot. Give me some more weight too. Give me a. Give me a 35 pound weight. Vince here. I should go 45 pounds more. <laughs> you want a 35 on yeah. top of this? Give me some. Give All me right. some. Got to make it more intense. Okay, I'll spot it. Them California boys, they That's put right, the weight baby. on you. Okay. Rock and roll, this is for you, Vince. Come on. Boom, Drive baby. it up. Good. Boom. That's it. Go all the way. Good. Drive it up, Two John. times. Okay, come on. Boy. Okay. All right, right, Sean. You said you live down in Florida, Vince. Do you find that the humidity bothers you when you're training? Actually, it does. I'm an AC man. I stay in the air and run out when I have to. Sean, I'm going to drop this 35 okay. until I move out here to California. <laughs> okay. Then I'm going to get busy. Well, All right. I know you train alone, so you use a more medium weight. But the world doesn't know we're going to be training partners pretty slim. All right. Let's do it. All right. Let's get it. Well, that's the good thing about bodybuilding is that we can still be good friends in the gym. It's always competitive. Good. But uh, that's it. the camaraderie is always Full good. range. Come on, Vince. Good. Vince is pulling it down a little bit closer to the upper pecs. Now, you'll notice some people will bring it, it down right. to the lower okay, pecs. It's just a matter of comfortability. Right. Okay, I'll spot you, boy. Okay. The yeah, I, I, I like Vince's movement, too. I like to drop the bar right close to the base of my throat. I'll get a better stretch. Yeah, I think way. you eliminate a little bit of that shoulder uh, in there with the, the higher up on the chest. You yeah, it hits the chest a little more. Okay. All right, Rock give me up. a spot. Okay. okay. All right, okay. Right, down and up, boys. You also use the, bar, uh, the dumbbells on the flat bench, right? I try to, not a whole lot, because again, I'm stretching. I'm really afraid of a major tear or some sort of soreness okay. there. Come on, Sean, you're up, all the yeah. way. That's Two. it, easy, easy. Three. This is a massive chest Four. exercise build. It works the entire Five. Come on. chest and frontal Six. deltoid area. Seven. Great. Come Eight. on, that's yeah. it. Come on, all the way. Nine. Oh. All right. Come on, that's right. it. Okay. <sighs> Okay. All right. Who's up? I'm gonna need some heavier weight here. Wait a minute. Well, by all oh. means, grab it. Let's <laughs> do <laughs> USA here. All right. Now I see how you got so good. Let's go. Okay. All right. I'll spot. Okay. One of the main things I notice on this exercise is uh, you get a greater stretch with using free dumbbells. That's it takes it. a lot more coordination, oh, wait, wait. hand eye coordination and balance. Again, I like, I like to hear this right there. You want to hear those weights playing okay. at the top. Okay, all right. I'll grab these 65. All right. Okay. I've been looking forward to this, trying to get okay. Flex Wheeler in here. You know it. Training with him. I see him in the magazines all the time, and now i got an opportunity to work out with him. Here I am, baby. Come I mean, on. Uh, come on. Okay, let's go. Two, come on. Three. What you want to do on this exercise, you want to lock it out all the way at the Four. top. If you don't lock it out, uh, you can run into some joint problems with your elbows. Six. Sometimes come you might on, even boy. want to wear wraps Seven. around your elbows if you feel a little pain. Eight. But always remember, Nine. Come on. be warm first. For biceps, um, like you said, it's one of my stronger points. Um, I don't really work those that often because I don't want them to get overwhelming. I don't want my arms to stick out farther than my shoulders when I'm on stage. So I'll do maybe three exercises per training day and maybe um, 
per month, I'll train my biceps, maybe twice per month. And it just consists of um, alternating curls, straight um, bar curl and um, the um, preacher curl. And that's basically it. I'll do that maybe twice a month. As far as for my shoulders, all of the above, because it's one of the more massive, uh, massive uh, muscle groups, so I'll do my overhead press, my side laterals, my rear delt movements, and so on. We're going to continue on with our massive workout. We're moving into biceps now. The first exercise we're going to be doing is preacher <coughs> bicep curls, right, with the dumbbell. Let's go, boy. This is an exercise everyone comes up to me all the time. They want to know, how yeah. do I develop a peak on my bicep? On. I don't think that's possible. Yeah. It's genetically, inherently uh, ingrained in your, your structure when you're born, whether you have a peak or a full, long bicep. That's a peak. Warrior's got a peak on his bicep. That's and when Warrior's in great contest condition, you can also see the split in his bicep. I believe this exercise helps him bring out that split, right, but I don't think on. it necessarily facilitates a peak on your bicep, but you can see it here. Take a close up on that arm. Look at that, you can see all the fibers in the arm. Come on, yeah. This is an exercise, you wanna start off again with relatively light weight because you do get a, an over accentuated stretch down there at the bottom and a, a peak contraction at the top. I usually get this kind of soreness right down at the lower part all of right. my bicep when I perform this exercise. <sighs> One more, all right. all right, let's do it. Good job. Uh, okay, I'm up right. next. I'll take okay. this. I'll right. take this. I'll go. Let's go, okay. All right. You notice that this exercise here is basically designed not only to work the entire bicep, but as Sean mentioned, the lower portion. Come on, this Sean. gives a real fullness to the bicep. Mm. Yeah. Making that look too easy, Come Sean. On. Yeah, I'm just warming up still. Okay, good. On. I got to see what Flex uses. Okay. All right. Next one. Okay. All right. You notice... The hardness in Sean's bicep. In other words, this particular exercise really isolates the bicep. You can't get any swinging motion in it whatsoever. It's purely in the bicep. Yeah, All right. bicep action. Yeah. Good. All right. All right. I figured he was going to grab more. Sorry, what's up? 15. <laughs> we'll go up 15. Right. Okay. Europe. I think it's all relative. The bigger you are, the more you should be That's able to right. lift, I think. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Flex, come on. I think what we're seeing here is three different sets of biceps. We're all doing the same exercise, but I think if you get a close-up on the arms, they're all developed differently. And that's the genetic thing, am I right? I, I think so, too. I mean, because you're talking about the split earlier in my bicep. Mm -hmm. My father's 75, and he's got the split in his bicep, and he's never trained. It's just genetic. That's right. But I know if you want size, you got to lift the iron and you got to Well, there's no heavy. question about it. It's obvious that this man here, Flex Wheeler, has hoisted a lot of iron. Look at the size of that bicep and the separation in it as well. There Great. Come on, Flex. One All more. the way. All the way. Make it look easy. That's it. Good. Yeah. Good job. All right. Okay. And let's move on to the second exercise. Before you leave some of this, okay. this is going to be the barbell, standing barbell curl. This is the equivalent of the squats for the leg exercises. All right. This is for mass and strength. All right. Flex, how much weight can you do on this? Mm. People always want to know how strong you are because your arm is so big. How, how much weight can you do? I don't know. We'll put a couple of blondes on there and see what happens. <laughs> I don't All think right. it really matters how much weight you do, as long it as you use good form, right? Exactly. I got some strict form there with Warriors using. I usually wear a weightlifting belt for support when I'm going really heavy. Right. Uh, you do have a tendency to swing for momentum, but it's okay to do a little bit of cheat sets every exactly. now and then. Exactly. Good job. All right. Okay. All right. Who's up next? Sean, let's I'm go. I'm going to grab it All a little right. closer, though. All right. Okay. Your grip is naturally going to vary from individual to individual. As you notice, Sean grabs it a little bit closer. It really doesn't affect anything as long as you work hard. Even the weight sometimes is not so important. It's the intensity and the strictness of the exercise. Right. Two times. Always Come make on. sure you get a full One. range of motion. That's it, Sean. Two. All right. Good. Ooh. Okay, Flex. Let's go at 50 pounds. Here. Okay. Boy, he's trying to show us up on yeah. our own show here. Actually, like you said, we're still just warming up. So, well, from now on, I'm gonna do what you do. All right. That's a challenge. I'm taking it upon myself. All right. Okay. okay. I gotta get arms like yours. I know that takes a lot of weight. All right. Here we go. Okay, Flex. It's a good thing you saw him put the collars onto the bar. When you start adding weight and you're using more and you're doing a, uh, an exercise that you may have to cheat. Of course, he's not gonna cheat. Look at how strong he is. Sometimes you do have to swing it up a little bit, and that's okay. You need the collars for something. As you notice, now he's grabbed the bar a little bit lighter. But like I, again, I said, it doesn't really matter. The main thing is a complete movement. All the way. Good, right, yeah. good. Okay. Let's move on to the third All right. exercise. All right. We'll do some standing alternate curls. Okay. I'm going to use that 65 curl. Okay, again. sure. Okay. All right. Here we go. Okay. Again, the concentration is on one arm at a time. 
Right. You'll notice as he goes through the range of motion, he also turns his forearm. This activates the bicep on, even more. Good fluid motion. Great, Sean. That's it. Three, All four. the way. Come on. One. Good. That's it. Three. All the way up. Yeah. Great. Yes. Ooh. All right, boy. Let's okay, go. I'd say we're getting a hell of a bicep oh, workout man. here. That's right. I usually oh. wear straps on this exercise, and I got to get a pair of those. I lost them when I was on tour. But usually it's a, it's a smart idea to have straps when you do this exercise because your hands have a tendency to give out before the actual bicep. Plus, it helps you get a few more reps. Come on, boy. For I am. Flex, let me ask you something. How Brian. big are your arms? They're right around 22 and a half. That's a nice big arm. I know girls with waist that small, right, you know? Right, right. Or should I say that big? Yeah. OK. All right, <laughs> All right you're up. Small waist is 20, but I got a 32-inch waist, so oh, here we go. There's nothing like a nice pair of arms, especially when you're wearing that muscle tank top. That's right. And this guy shoes. makes it look easy, too. Yeah, you yeah, notice that's... again, he's getting that full, complete move. Come on. Let's I mean, go, Flex. The thing, about, the thing about being here, you see it up close and personal. That's right. You know, you see Come what on. you want it to look like, you can work on it. There you go. Come on, Flex. Keep it going. Yeah. Good. Woo. Okay, sounds set? good. Right. Can you bring that 50 over here? Sure. I normally like to do about three or four sets. How many okay. Do? Uh, I do about three. Three sets? sets, right? Okay. Uh, okay. Here we go. Let's go. Again, all the way up, all the way down. Great. Yeah. That's it. You notice the second set is even more intense. Sean's into it even more. Yes. All right. I got the juices flowing. Okay. You're good. Feel the heat from this guy. Okay, we're gonna do dumbbell lateral raises for this particular motion. Yeah, that's it, great, right there. So the audience has got a good view for the side yeah, lateral shoulders. head of her deltoid. She's got phenomenal uh, deltoids. Yes. And side laterals, I mean, that's a vital exercise, what you wanna do here if you really wanna get those round shaped shoulders. Notice how like she the goes hands. out, she rotates the dumbbells up where her palm is higher than her thumb. This even isolates the lateral head Ooh. more. Give her a spot there, aren't you? Great. You want to, you do Come this on. on your forearms. Oof. Oof. Okay. All right. Oh, tough no, I have to go. It's good, you. though. You can feel it. You see that? See what like she's it. doing to you? She has a bigger shoulder than I do. Okay. Let me okay, spot. Come on. Okay, great. Great set. That's it. Good, good. control. Good control. Okay. All right. She doesn't Perform. need a spot. She's making that look yeah. too easy. Yes. Great. Notice how, again, Anya rotates her hands out. That's it, good. Get them high. She also, <laughs> she also starts across the front, on, which gives set. her a little greater range of motion. Yeah. Oh my I always okay. want to make sure I take the whole range of movement as much as possible. Okay, Boyer, your turn. Let's hit it. Come on. Great set. Good. Good set. Right. Good set. Shoulders Come look on. tremendously good. good set. See those striations? <laughs> Boy is known for his great shape all year round. <sighs> great set. But you great look great control. yourself, you know. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Come on. <clears throat> great set. Okay. Oh, you work out all year round, yeah. Linda? Yeah, all year, all year round. I try to stay consistent. It's the key. It must be uh, require a lot of effort, though, as much traveling as you do, giving exhibitions and, so I would uh, say, and everything. Let's do another yeah. one here. Yeah. Huh? Okay, well, let's do something for a rear deltoid. Okay. How about seated? Right, okay. so you haven't rear. hit the rear delts Fine. yet. Okay. 15's here. This way here. Okay. okay. Uh, this exercise here that Linda's doing really isolates the rear deltoid head. As you can see, as she goes up, there's no, there's no way she can cheat. She's got her chest resting almost on her knees. Really isolates the rear deltoid. Also hits the traps and upper back area as well. I mean, she does have a wonderful form. She could cheat by swinging the dumbbells and bringing them up like this. Right. Notice Very she keeps fast. the movement slightly forward, which hits that rear deltoid head. And that's one thing, you definitely can't cheat on this. Of course, yeah, you to stay in that gonna position. go heavy on this. Okay, I'm gonna yeah. keep the same way. Oh, so you're not gonna no. challenge me and go heavier? <laughs> no. on this okay. Thing, huh? Okay. I might do some more reps though. All right. All right. Come okay. On. Great, on you. Good set. We got a couple of more minutes left. About two or three more minutes. About 30 minutes are up. I'm gonna do a couple more reps. Take us okay. out of here. Okay. You're on. Okay. Come on. Bring it home. One, two, three. <sighs>
Flex Magazine Workout is created and produced by High Bar Productions in association with Weeder Publications Incorporated and ESPN.